Hello guys, and welcome back to the first episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald! Now using Bandicam and an actual layout that will actually make this look a lot better. Here. So yeah, it's going to be a, a different setup from before. Basically it's no longer a Nuzlocke. Oh, wrong way. I'm, I'm used to playing on the no cash GBA, not the uh, VBA. There we are. So let's just try to speed through all this creation bullshit right away. I don't remember what I named my uh, main Pokemon before, but oh well. I have a message from friends. Okay, it's something I can uh, wait on, but uh, the good thing about recording with Bandicam as opposed to Fraps is um, since I'm not playing this in a full screen window, uh, Bandicam actually has a timer letting you know how long you've been recording for, and it actually has a file size indicator letting you know how big the file size is. So obviously I am a boy, and at about 2 minutes I am at almost 440 megabytes. Which is rather a lot, but... You know, I'll deal with it. I, <laughs> I remember my uh, first playthrough of this, I actually tried... Uh, using my mouse to type this in, which was rather stupid of me, but yes, my name is Butters. Butters is moving to Little Root. All right, are you ready? Very own adventures about to unfold. Yes, it is for the second time on this channel. And he uses his magical shrink ray to shrink me. And I hear something. I am in the back of a moving van. There are not even any seatbelts in here. How the hell? What if something were to fall on me? That desk right there? What if that were to have slid and crushed me? Horrible parenting. Ugh. I couldn't sit up front with my mom? Jesus! This is Little Root Town. Do you like it? No ho, blah blah blah. You get your own room. What do you mean I was sharing a bed with you? What the hell? What kind of childhood do I have? Movers. No. So not only did I have to sit in the back of the moving truck, and I used to share a bed with my mom, but we are using slave labor for our Pokemon. What the hell? Anyway, set the clock. Apparently I, I, I can't set the clock, because I was pressing the wrong button. Anyway, none of the clock-based events even work in this game, so there's really no reason to set the clock, but I'm doing it anyway out of habit. Do, 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 do. There we are. Alright, now your mom's gonna come in to uh, tell us about stupid stuff. Anyway, uh, this is going to be my three-day-a-week uh, series until I get my permission letter back from... I'll just let you know, it's EA Sports. Um, this is going to be uploading after episode four of my FTB series, so... Might as well you know now that my three day a week series that's going to be on Tuesdays, Thursdays, no, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays is going to be an NHL GM mode commentary. But until then, it's going to be Pokemon Emerald. Sure. And not only that, but my father, who we barely see, was on TV and my mom didn't think to tell me until it was already over. Wow, horrible childhood here. Anyway, Professor Birch lives right next door, and she tells me to go see him, which I will do. I will be cutting out random battles and any non-essential trainer battles, but I'm not going to be nearly as intense about it as in my Pokemon Heart Gold LP, because this isn't a rehash, this is a brand new series. And he's not in his lab, get over here. Professor Birch, away on field work. Ergo, he isn't here. Wow. I know what field work is, I'm not ten. Goddamn game series. Anyway... Let's just go outside, try to find Birch. Hopefully he's not up to anything too ridiculous. Um, um, if you go outside and grasp Pokemon, I'll jump. He just said he's on field work! What the f- <laughs> Apparently I have to go to his house, barging in. Yes, I barged in. Give me all your money. I'm your new neighbor. Give me all your fucking money. A daughter about the same age and making new friends. Okay, I can make friends with your daughter in her room and steal her Pokemon. Oh, hey, May. Your butters. Yes, I am your new, uh, neighbor. Let's make friends on the bed right there. I know I'm a little advanced for my age, but... Oh, were you, were you talking this entire time? Anyway, she just basically gives you the hint that, oh yeah, her father's doing field work and she has to help. And no, we cannot make friends with her on her bed. Which kind of stinks. 
Uh, there are scary Pokemon outside. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me go see what's going on. Wow, some expert you are. Worst Pokemon expert over there. You know what? You got yourself into this mess. You know what? Let me just... Yeah, even though he got himself into this mess and he's about to get eaten by a rabid Zigzagoon, I have to help him. And this is where you get to choose your Pokemon. Mudkip! Uh, oh god, so many memes about Mudkip. Mudkip's actually not bad. When he evolves in his final evolution, he becomes water ground type with a pretty impressive move pool and it, the ability to use very, very many t HMs. And then Triku, who's actually also not bad, and he evolves into Zeptile, he gets really high attack and is incredibly fast. Unfortunately, the special physical split between moves didn't happen. Here, it's still all between uh, types, which really stinks. Because if that happened, Sceptile would be a great Pokémon. Because Leaf Blade would be ridiculous. That's actually why I'm hoping Emerald gets its own remake, but we're going to go with my favorite series of starters. And our first battle already. Something that's actually skip-worthy, honestly. The reason why I really like skipping the battles in this game is that... The battles, as you can see, are kind of slow. The moves are slow. The only thing that goes by quickly is the HP falling. But, yeah, otherwise these battles are actually really slow, and there are a lot of them in this game. As you can tell, Zigzagoon likes to troll. And there we are. Now you're done. Torture gained 17 experience points. Yay, not enough. Whew. Tall grass and suddenly wild Pokemon already jumped. You saved me. You're a professor that does field work and you're still getting jumped by level 2 zigzagoons? Jesus Christ, this place, this Hoenn region is utterly shit! Ugh. But at least he gives me the Pokemon I just used to save his worthless ass. And yes, I will give a nickname to this Torchic, and as with all of my playthroughs, he's getting my real name in Spanish. <laughs> I might want to find out what... Oh, god damn it. There we are. I might want to find out what my name is in, like, Latin or something. It's probably just Justius. Or something. Sure, I'll go see May. teach you what it means to be a trainer. I know what it means to be a trainer. She's worthless. Anyway. Let's go over here and see where May is. Let's go see if we can finally make friends with her on her bed. Nope, she's gone. Which means she's not going to be here. She's never going to be in her room again, and we will never be able to make friends with May on her bed. God damn it. Anyway, do you give me the running shoes yet, or is that later? No, she just uh, lets my Pokemon rest, apparently. I wish I had running shoes. Because otherwise now I have to walk everywhere, and I've still got plenty of time, so... I don't even think I'll cut out random battles in this episode. Route 101, this guy's nothing to say. You will find Zigzagoons on this route, pretty much. And Poochianas. Poochianas are worthless. Oh, jeez. Let's see which one this is. It's a Poochiana. It's a dark type, which by all itself should give, like, you know... It's almost appealing in its own right, since there are not a lot of dark types. However, it doesn't have good attack. And... or special attack, even when it evolves. And apparently this one didn't even have the ability of Intimidate, which is the only good reason to get Puchiana slash Mightyana, but... Yeah, not worth it. I mean, you can sort of use them as a meat shield, but that's about it. Um, if I remember... There, wasn't there supposed to be a potion here? Oh well, don't care. Anyway, welcome to the first town in the game, Modale Town. There's literally just a Pokemart, a couple of places here, and this guy who thinks he's sketching Pokemon footprints and he won't let you pass. Anyway, let me go ahead and give you a tour of the Pokemarts. They've got great music here. Anyway, you get potions, antidotes, and all this fun stuff. I'm gonna get myself four potions, just have an even five. I'm not doing a Nuzlocke this time around, simply because I just don't feel like it. It wouldn't be fun for me. Anyway, let me go ahead and give you a tour of the Pokemon Center. Ah, uh, there we are. What do you have to say for yourself? Anyway, you can get heal for free here, you can store your Pokemon and your items here. I'm not sure if there is an item limit in this game or not, but if there is, you can store excess items there. Anyway, there's a route up there with a Pokemon battle in it, like a legit Pokemon battle, but I'm going to train my uh, 
Torchic up to level... What level am I training my Torchic up to? Seven. Yeah, I'll train up to level seven. I'll see you guys then. Alright, guys, we're back, and Torchic is now level seven. He, at level seven, he learned Focus Energy, which is... Okay, I guess. I've never liked Focus Energy. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, just a level 3 Poochiana. Nothing to be worried about. Anyway, we talked to Mei here. Pokemon Fountain Route 103 includes Zigzagoon, probably Wingle, who I haven't seen yet, and Poochiana. Anyway, have a quick battle. And this is your first instance of a Pokemon battle, and recurring battles, because Mei will challenge you, I think, four or five times in the game. She starts off with the Pokemon that you are weak to, which in this case was Mudkip, but... Considering the fact that I am two levels higher, and right now, level is the only thing that really matters, I can easily win. Considering I'm guessing she'll just spam tackle, and because I can win in four scratches where she takes five tackles to win... More than five. Wow. That was three, so it would take her six tackles to win. There we are. Nice and easy win, and you get the most hilarious number in the world is your experience, 69. And boom, level eight! Yes, I am pretty good. Now give me all your money and let's make friends on your bed. Just got that Pokemon already. Like she might be able to friend Pokemon easily. Time to head back to the lab. Might as well head back to the lab now because there's literally nothing else for us to do. I am going to cut out healing because I plan on going through the grass to get to the lab and I really don't want to have a slightly weakened Pokemon. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we're all healed up. Thanks to the speed of function, let's go. Let's hurry home. And I've actually decided not to use the, uh grass because I forgot ledges! Sweet! Besides, I've only got about another minute and a half to finish this up, so... I want to get back to Odell Town before my time expires, although I can keep it longer than 15 minutes. And by the way, I just realized Birch is probably the fattest Pokemon professor ever. I mean, look how wide he is, and look how thin May is. Jesus. Extensive history as a trainer, and yet only a level 5 Mudkip. FAIL! Anyway, you get a Pokédex, because apparently this guy can't do field work anymore after being almost rapidly savaged by a Zigzagoon. And now we get Pokéballs as well, so we can catch Pokémon now. Sweet. There are two Pokémon in the next two routes that I want, so... Let's just go ahead and talk to Mom, because we have to before the uh, adventure ends. Well, the adventure starts, rather. Oh, I forgot, it's automatic. Introduced you to the adorable Pokemon, Father's Child, Adventure, blah blah blah, Running Shoes. There's only two things your mother is good for, Running Shoes and an Amulet Coin, basically. I think you get the Amulet Coin after Gym 4. Yeah, I think you have to beat your dad, who's a gym leader, spoiler alert. But anyway, as you can see... Uh, where's, which one's... There we are, Speed! So much speed! Oh, jeez. Uh, useless Wormpole is useless. Although Dust Talks actually isn't bad. Alright, I'm going to end it here. Uh, the two Pokemon I want to catch are Zigzagoon and Swellow. I'll catch the Zigzagoon off screen. Not Swellow, Taillow. Taillow's only in the next route, so you're going to see me catch Swellow. And I'm going to raise Zigzagoon to level 8, simply because Zigzagoon and Swellow are going to be my two HM slaves. Sweet! Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, take care.